We flew in the other night and got here and uh, couldn't really tell like, you know, what the place kind of looked like. So I woke up the next morning and uh, walked out to the to the back pool area and saw the sunrise and kind of realized how like, you know, how beautiful this place was. It's, it's gorgeous. Um, there's not many places like this on, on earth. have got to do a good job of focusing today. This is, or you know, a golf course like this, you know, this golf course isn't overly hard, but if you're not paying attention, and it'll sneak up on you in a, in a heartbeat. So today is going to be your hardest working day. You know, we're coming from a lot of cold weather, we're playing a lot of wet weather, and you come down here and everything's firm and fast, and the weather's warm, ball flies further, it's releasing. Um, so there's a lot of adapting to the practice round. It's a course, too, that is, uh, you have to pay a lot of attention to. There is no rough out there. It goes straight from fairway to absolute desert, just uh, nasty cactus and uh, bushes and all kinds of stuff. Especially on a golf course like this, if you, stick, if you don't stick to your game plan, it, this thing can, can, can confuse you, frustrate you. And uh, you know, and Coach, Coach Moy and I, you know, we're there to help, help formulate this game plan. Obviously, Coach got Blake to do it because he would be the one 
dumb enough to eat it. <laughs> Even though I did follow after him, but I do like hot stuff, so it wasn't that big of a deal. But uh, Blake, Blake was pretty much freaking out the rest of the dinner after that. <laughs> well, in golf, you can't win the tournament on the first day, but you can lose the tournament on the first day. So, the first day, you got to put yourself in a position to have a good tournament. You can't win it, like you can't beat everybody the first day, but um, you gotta put yourself in position to win it on the third day. Day one's crucial, you know, I think, uh, you have to get off to, you have to build up some momentum and you have to get off, you know, if you can get a couple under par scores then, then you can get the ball rolling but, you know, it's the, the four overs and the five overs that, that are really going to kill you. I actually uh, struggled the first round, I just didn't, I didn't, Necessarily hit the ball that great, and it kind of put me in some some bad spots. But uh, I mean, that's just part of golf. Like it's really it's frustrating when it happens when you miss shots you know you can make, just because like you know you've done it before, and uh, it's just something you gotta you know once you just gotta put it behind you and just go to the next hole and forget about it. Because I mean, if you if you let that get in your head and get to you, it'll you, it'll build off itself and you won't start playing as, as well. Day one, we started out okay. We were in the middle of the pack, you know, decent. We could definitely were in control of our own destiny to move up, and we were in a good position to have a good finish. Good. Best part I've ever seen you hit. I'm not sure. Oh, it's really good. Did you see that coaching? Everyone see that? <laughs> Everyone see what I did there? Read, well, not bragging, but good putt, man. Great speed too. Crossy. Hot butter. Hot butter. Crossy. Hot butter. Hey. Put, put, put the cover back on that hot butter. I'm not eating yeah. the tongue. I'll eat the red pepper well, again, though. Where's the pepper at? You'll get it from a drip on it. It's going to taste good. <laughs> Do it. Do it. You Second day, we were, I think we were like tied for eighth, like kind of midway, midway in the field. And uh, our goal was to get, you know, get some under par rounds and get, you know, move it, moving up the leaderboard as much as we could just so we could get a good spot for, for the last round.
mountain right in front of us and the only drop I could put it was back on the mountain and obviously the ball wouldn't stay there so I'd take my drop and Molloy had to keep running and catching it. We've been playing some good golf. Uh, you know, and, and go into the second day, get off to a rough start uh, it, during the during that round of, of golf, and um, finish strong. You know, we went from you know kind of you know, working the wrong way to holding it in there and, and getting a few strokes back coming in, uh, which which was great and kept us right in it, kept us in the in the same spot. Great shot, man. Get in the hole. Go in. Go in. Go. Go. Yeah, very nice. Shot no We played okay. We didn't play as, you know, as great as we uh, wanted to, but we kind of just stayed, stayed even kill, stayed where we were. So look forward for, to the look forward to the third rounds. So we move up the leaderboard, try to get the you know, top four, top three finish, if not get, get around the lead. Uh, we are in the middle of the pack, but I'd also say, you know, it is a very strong field, and we're not far off from having a very, very successful tournament. I mean, all it takes is one or two good rounds from the guys tomorrow, we're gonna be right in the mix of having a top finish. Uh, we might not be able to win, but, you know, in a field like this, you know, if you, as, a, as a team, I think a top three or top five is, uh, it's definitely a lot. I mean, we want to win golf tournaments. I mean, we prepare every tournament to, to win as a team. And, you know, on the other hand, you know, not every week everything's going to go your way as a team. It's sometimes not about how good your good finishes are as a team, it's about how your bad ones are. And tomorrow, you know, our goal is going to be to have a good day and get up as high on the leaderboard as we can, hopefully get a top five or top three as a team. Day two. Rebels, Rebels struggled a little bit. Uh, Noah West played, played better. I was proud of, him, proud of his efforts today. Um, you know, coming back from a tough day yesterday, and the uh, guys he was playing with, he really stuck in there and, uh, and played really well. Uh, I'm proud of him for uh, manning up and playing some good golf today. Ben Walcott, the rest of the crew, rest of the crew I don't really know uh, how we fared. Uh, Being we don't have any cell phone service here. But uh, you know, I'm sure we kind of hung in there, so we got one more day, and uh, we'll see where tomorrow takes out. Today's a big day in, in terms of you know moving up the leaderboard, uh, getting some good good wins over some highly ranked teams. Um, you know, and that goes a long way for the for the postseason. Solidifying yourself and giving yourself some some confidence. for the third day is just to play the best that we can and see where we end up. We don't really worry about the scoreboard that much when we're playing because it distracts you from the goal of what you're trying to do. So we're just going to play the best we can and score, like finish as high as we can. Day three, we were about what, like 10 shots back, I think, somewhere around there. And you know, you're not looking to make up 10 shots. You're not going in the day like, okay, I got to make up 10 shots on this hole. You're looking to, uh, to go out there and golf your ball. Yeah, there's a lot at stake, um, you know, and, and especially in a field like this, uh, you know, we're, we're fighting to, to get in the postseason at this point in time, and we have a great opportunity sitting in front of us um, to move up the leaderboard. You know, our our uh, goal wasn't to stay where we were. Um, you know, our goal was to, to move up, and you know, we got off to a good start, um, and we were playing with a couple of teams that had gotten off to good starts as well. So we were feeding off each other a little bit. Um, and unfortunately for us, you know, we made the made the turn. The wind kicked up a little bit. We didn't do a very good job um, as a team. You know, we had a couple of guys uh, play okay, but uh, we let the elements get to us a little bit um, and, and didn't finish strong. And you know, moved back a couple of spots. Good swing. Whoa. Keep your head up. It's unfortunate uh, that. 
we had an opportunity sitting in front of us. And you know, it, it's great for our guys though to sit there and, and they can look back on this now. And we talked you know, afterwards about it, how important a shot is. You know, one shot, two shots, three shots. If you look in this tournament and, and where we finished, um, you know, three shots is, is night and day. The last six holes we we would have parred in, we would have we would have been in, I would have had our bid to NCAA regionals and the wind came up and we didn't exactly get it done to say the least and we we finished twelfth by if we had three shots lower we would have been in NCAA regionals and between five people you can all think of at least one shot that would have got us there and it's tough looking back on it now. We were close, you know, I think like four or five bad swings, you know. Like, it, it, it eventually came down to three shots, and, but, you know, we can all go back and count three shots, but, you know, it's just, it's just tough. It's tough to take. It's a hard loss. Adversity helps everybody and, and helps us get to where we want to be, and it doesn't feel very good right now. Um, I know that. It doesn't feel good for, for myself, it doesn't feel good for them, but that's okay. Uh, you know, they, as I told them afterwards, I said, you should be upset about this, but we're not going to put our heads down. Putting your heads down and feeling sorry for yourselves, we'll be the only ones feeling sorry for ourselves if we if we do that. We just have to get better. Um, we can't walk away from a finish like that, you know, even in a in a in a great field in a great place like this, feeling really good about ourselves. Uh, we can still remain confident, though. What this did for us is. It brought us a lot closer together. Um, it enabled the guys to to share their experiences a little bit, you know, more, and they learn from each other. I, I think you know they can get together and talk about golf and, and talk about you know life in general, you know, a little bit, um, and learn a little bit about each other. And you know that's that's what you want. These guys, these guys are seeing the big picture of things. Um, Coach Moyes came in and, and set a standard for for what what we expect, and. Um, you know, these guys have bought in. They've bought in, they've done everything we've asked. Um, you know, even on this trip, you know, this is a fun trip, you know. And these guys, these guys went through the, went through the ringer this week. And, you know, they, they played, they, they didn't play as well as we had hoped. And, and they got, you know, they understood that, that that's not gonna be acceptable. Um, you know, when, like I said, this is a building process. This, this, this thing starting with these five guys that we brought down here this week. And, uh, you know, as long as they keep doing the right things, this program will be on the rise. You know, it's a process. It's, it's not a, you know, it's Rome wasn't built in a day, you know. And, uh, you know, these guys have actually stepped up and accepted the challenge. And uh, things are looking bright for Ole Miss Golf. Even though, like, the golf was, you know, a little bit disappointing coming down to the last day, I think, uh, you know, there's not, there's not many places like this that we get to go to. And uh, you have to enjoy it because, you know, like, like in Blake's, you know, in his situation, it's his last year, it's his last time he had to travel with a team to a place like this. And, uh, you know, it's kind of bittersweet, like he's moving on to bigger and better things, but um, it's fun. You know, it's, it's a great place to be able to come and play golf. We're really blessed. Um, you know, I have really, really great teammates. Uh, wouldn't trade him for the world, and I uh, just hope that we can, you know, learn from this week and move on.